so in this lecture we are going to start with a new chapter sound it's a very easy chapter very very easy most of the people take it as a tough chapter i don't know why they take it but it's a easy chapter let's start so first question comes in our mind is what is sound sound is an energy energy form which helps us to hear okay it's the most common definition you should write something better in the exam so you can add a point it's a wave longitudinal wave or longitudinal wave is also known as compression wave okay so this can be added to your exam points so let's go to another topic vibration vibration is the only reason why sound is produced so we can call we can say that vibration is the source of sound production if anywhere vibration is occurring some sound is being produced like you have heard a sound right now it's just because of the vibration so here you can see an example of a tuning fork it's being tuned and it it is traveling through a medium particle you can say see here i'm not going to tell you about these medium particles a few minutes later i will tell you about and this it is traveling and then it reaches to the ear and the person is then able to hear that voice sound now we come to a new topic how sound travels does it really travels so the answer is yes it travels but how how it travels so for this we have to take two examples examples who example number one and the second one okay so let's take an example of your school if you are trying to say this person something so there is one way how you can say aap pehle isse kahoge ki bhai wo banda bahut pagal hai bewakoof banda hai wo fir aap fir ye banda isse kahega fir ye banda isse kahega fir ye banda isse keh dega to ye baat aise bhi aap pahunch pahunch sakti hai so isme hua kya ki iske baat ko isne carry kiya fir isne carry kiya fir isne carry kiya fir isne carry kiya tab yahan pe pahunch gaya same happens in the sound what happens here like there is something a vibrating body which produces sound then these particles will carry these sound sound waves from one particle to another like this particle will send this information or the sound to another particle then another particle will send to another then another then another then another and it will reach to this particle ultimately where it is supposed to go it will go till that point and then a person will be able to hear it so this that doesn't happens ki ek hi particle khud uth ke yahan pe chala jaye aur us bande ko awaaz sunai pad jaye so this is the end of this page let's move on to next page sound can't travel without medium तो वाई साउंड कैन ट्रेवल विदाउट अ मीन सो लेट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल हेयर टू जोन जोन हेयर मीडियम जोन एंड द वैक्यूम जोन अगेन द मीडियम जोन एंड इट्स द ईयर ऑफ अ पर्सन हु इज स्टैंडिंग देयर टू हेयर दैट वॉइस सो मीडियम द फोक इज ट्यून्ड एंड देन इट विल मूव टू दिस पार्टिकल ऑफ दैट मीडियम जोन इट विल टेक द पार्टिकल टिल हेयर साउंड टिल हेयर and after that a vacuum zone will come ab here koi nahi hai jo ki is sound ko leke aage jaake is particle ko de taki sound sunai pad sake kyunki ek khud akela particle itni dur tak travel nahi kar sakta hai okay isliye ye sound iske isko sunai nahi de sakta क्योंकि ये एक वैक्यूम जोन है यहाँ पे कोई ऐसा पार्टिकल है ही नहीं जो कि इसको कैरी करके अगले तक ले जाए सो बाय दिस यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड व्हाई साउंड कैन ट्रैवल विदाउट अ मीडियम नाउ मूव ऑन टू नेक्स्ट टॉपिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ साउंड वेव 
the first one is frequency another one amplitude speed time period wavelength and oscillation oscillation a little different that's why i have um written with a different color and this all these things i will tell you later after coming back from this page so there are two topics compression and refraction sorry real fraction so these are two topics what are they you can see here an example it's collection of particles air particles or something any else medium particles so these particles you can see in few space the particles are very very closely packed and few space the particles are very very loosely arranged or say they have more space than the thicker one or the or the compressed one so i use the term compression compressed so these space where particles are arranged very tightly those space are called compression and where the particles are arranged very light loosely those space are called rear fraction so these are two phenomena which you have to remember you can exams mein aate and most people think that why this happen this happens just because the sound travels like this it goes and then comes back then goes then comes back it's about the particle it goes and then come back goes come back goes come back so this is the reason why this compression and rear fractions are formed so i will tell you characteristics of light no oh, sorry sound in this this video which you can see in the upper right corner of your screen so that's all for this lecture